Today I am so excited to share with you the process behind my latest painting, As You Wish. This piece was created for Gallery 1988's art show called 30 Years Later. It's an art show featuring work from cult classics of 1987. I decided to go with the cult classic, The Princess Bride, because it's a personal favorite of mine. Now, The Princess Bride is a fantasy slash comedy sort of film, and it also has a lot of romantic elements in it. And the romantic side of thing was really what I was interested in here and what I decided to focus on. I've chosen to put the two main characters beneath a tree, and it's not a scene that's from the movie per se, but I have taken several elements from the movie to inspire this piece. Now, if you're familiar with the film, I've put them in their kind of iconic clothing that they appear in for the majority of the film. She, Princess Buttercup, is in her red dress, and Wesley is in his black pirate's attire. The setting here is beneath a tree that I've kind of recreated because it fits with my style and aesthetic, and people will be able to recognize my work by seeing this. Um, I liked the idea of touching on their romantic relationship by including a carved as you wish in the side of the tree trunk. Wesley uses this phrase, as you wish, in the movie multiple times to express his love for Buttercup. Uh, if you can tell, there is going to be a very small lake in the background, and this is part of the movie. Also, the colors in this piece are very much inspired by the different locations in the film. There's a lot of very vibrant green used in a lot of the landscapes that they decided to film this in. So here I'm mixing paint to continue in layering up my painting. I've decided that a sort of green, blue-green to yellow palette is what I wanted to use. And this is a color palette that I've used before that I'm really enjoying right now. The colors that are in the background are going to really pop once I add the character's colors at the very end on top. Green versus red is going to look great. So I am adding a nice gradient here going all the way up the tree and sort of blending in the blue into sort of a yellow green at the top of the sky. I wanted to kind of give a very sunny sort of atmosphere and just kind of have that, that golden hour a little bit to the image to make it a bit more romantic. The brush I'm using here, I've been using for most of the painting. It's a Princeton Neptune Quill and it's probably one of my favorite brushes to use right now. It's actually a synthetic brush and is quite versatile. It has uh, quite a nice point to it, so you can get pretty small, but then it's also really great for doing big washes and filling in large areas. Now, right now I'm going in on, I think, my third layer of paint. I'm really trying to go a lot darker here as I add in these green tones and start to emphasize more of the shadows in the different shapes that I'm painting. I've been blending throughout this piece, a lot of the blues and the greens together, and you can start to see some of the differences as they begin to develop in the painting. Here I am adding more shadow into the piece, and by adding the shadow I'm emphasizing more of the highlights. The texture of the tree I wanted to keep a little bit smooth, but at the same time I really wanted to play a little bit with having some different variations in the bark and on the tree itself. The, the swirly shapes are a lot of fun to recreate and I wanted to kind of have a little bit of fun there and explore those. The shadows here are done in a very dark blue and I've included that blue from the grass into the tree to kind of connect the tree to the ground and the space that it's in because it's very much a part of its environment. Since the tree plays a more of a background role in this painting, I didn't want it to stand out really starkly from the ground that it's sitting on. Now at the beginning of this painting I did a rough wash over the entire top of this piece so there's already a lot of yellow in there in the sky and what I'm doing right now is just adding some yellow into the bark and onto the tree itself to really separate it a little bit more from the sky in the background. I'm adding a lot more green into the areas of the tree that needed a little bit more contrast and here I'm adding some red to begin to develop the character's 
costumes. Now, I don't often use a very dark black or any sort of dark colors, and here this I really try to push those contrasts. you enjoyed this video. Links in the description to all the supplies that I used in this video as well as the gallery show itself. I'm also offering prints of this in my Redbubble and Society6 store. If you would like to purchase the original painting you can go to the gallery 1998 website and find information there about how to do that. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.